Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In this episode, I will be using gel, so remember if you use gel to cure between coats. Now, I wanted to do a negative space nail. It's a very big thing right now. Some are sweet with flowers, and some are chic with like cool designs and abstract. Uh, some even are just like, how did you even do that? That is super gorgeous. And then there are some like this. It just looks like they didn't have time to paint the whole nail. But this is going to be my take on the negative space nail trend. First, I'm going to start off with my Orly Easy Off gel base. It's $10 on eBay. You can't buy it on the Orly website because you have to be a professional supposedly to buy it. Other than it stinking, I don't really see any reason why it should only be for professionals. Honestly, this stuff is is really good. I, you know, I did a test a uh, test video and it took a little longer than five minutes, but I think I did a standard of like 10 to 15 and it just takes off all of my gel nail polish and I don't end up scraping my nail bed or anything, so I do recommend it. Now, what I'm using is BMC's Peony Blush. It's one of their mosaic gel polishes. They have a few in different shades. This one is a nice pink sheer tinted polish. And I thought, you know, that's perfect for a negative space look. I, I mean, it's basically clear, which, you know, you do end up using on a negative space. But it's, for me, I, I like the look of them and I like the idea of the negative space. But at the same time, I'm like, what? you know, there's so many beautiful colors out there you could put on your nail. Why would you leave just a bit of it naked? It's a shame. So that's when I decided to use these polishes because they're perfect. Now I have a stamping plate that is my Bundle Monster and Ellen Dish stamping plate. I took a lace because I figured, you know, what goes good with pink? Lace, obviously. And I'm using my stamper from Wish to go ahead and stamp it on. As you can see, it is blurry because I have no idea how to use my camera, which just goes to show that just because something is new and, you know, expensive doesn't mean you're going to be able to use it. I'm. I'm probably never going to figure this out, but hopefully someday I will. Now I'm just taking off my latex barrier that I put on and I am going to coat my nails in a gel top coat. This is my Clavu top coat that I got off of Amazon, which I really like. It's not a no wipe formula, but to be honest, I like or I dislike no wipe gel top coats. I feel like they're kind of I don't know, rubbery. So I like, I actually prefer the ones that you have to wipe off. These are some stencils I got from What's Up Nails. They're just for little bows. And if any of you have seen a bow stamping plate with cute bows in different shapes and sizes, let me know in the comments because I am looking for one. I don't really care for the vinyls. They tend to kind of mess up. Like my pinky was just devastated. So I went ahead and I put the bow on the bottom part of the lace and now I am putting a final top coat and I am going to cure it in the lamp so that I can get my nice beautiful shiny nails. Now honestly I love them. I think they look kind of Parisian. There's something about pink and white and black and I think it's because everything Paris themed has pink, white, and black. Thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.